All right, everybody, we are back. Just here doing a quick little tutorial today. I'm gonna show you how to get less tip dry by polishing your airbrush needles. Now, I had been polishing mine by hand. Um, I was just using my, either my Sharp and Air polishing pad or got these from Spray Gunner. These are Badger uh, sandpaper for polishing your needles. Um, I was just taking them, just rolling it on here by hand, just twisting and turning the, the needle with my hand and just kind of pushing down on it on these. Um, worked all right, I polished them, but lately I've been getting a lot more tip dry. I don't know if it's due to the weather or what, but uh, I decided to try something different, a little different last night. Um, got a couple different sandpapers here. I uh, got my 2000 grit sandpaper. And I also got some 3000 grit sandpaper here as well. So um, I decided to give it a try in my drill. So here is what I did. Um, turned out with really, really good results. Um, I just tried it in one last night real quick. Um, but yeah, I put white in the airbrush to see if I could get some tip dry and I wasn't getting very much at all. So here's how I polish my needles now on. Just put it in a drill. This is a cheap uh, drill I think from Walmart or, or Harbor Freight. Um, we'll want to start out with our 2000 grit sandpaper. So I'm just going to take my drill here, just kind of place it in my belly for some support and I'm just going to set it down on this here and we're just going to roll the drill but we want to do this wet it will give us a lot better results so I just give it a little squirt of water get that needle on there at the angle get a little pressure on it here with my finger and then just start the drill you kind of want to pull back too you constantly pulling back with it you can do this I don't know five, six, seven times Well, make sure you don't bend your needle. You supply slight pressure on it. And just wipe it off a little bit and then we'll move over to the 3000 grit sandpaper here. And do the same thing. this baby dry and then a little added thing I have that I do I got this polishing block it's for I think jewelry but I always take it and do it on here same thing on this at the end.
take our paper towel. Clean off the needle. And there you have it. A nice polished needle. The camera's probably not going to be able to focus very good on it. Let's try. But you can't see it in the camera, but I am able to visually see this needle that it's a lot smoother. I don't see any nicks, any any markings or anything from the machining on this. So um, I tried it out last night and I put like I said, I put my white paint in it. I used Createx illustration. I reduced it about fifty about 50 percent and i was getting basically no dry tip after having constant dry tip so i feel it made a huge difference and i don't know give it a try uh, if you can and see if it works for you uh, or if you have a different way of polishing your needle go ahead and leave it down below in the comments thanks for tuning in until next time Keep those brushes stroking.